Welcome my students, my pupils, to today's class. Gather around, because we have something very important to talk about. When the director is asked a question by the actor, the most frequent question, the most question often asked, is this. What is my motivation? How am I supposed to figure out what my character is thinking? How do I know what they are feeling? What is my story about? And I always tell them the same thing. I say, search deeply into the depths of your soul to find the meaning, the essence of the spark, a tiny little piece of who you really are. Let me explain. When the writers in their stories are telling a tale, it is always the same. It is always about people. their feelings, their motivations, their stories, what their life is about, their likes, their dislikes, who they love, who they hate, and all of that becomes part of the story. So, you may have many different stories in one. There may be a beautiful couple. They are tall and attractive people and they go to the beach and they have a wonderful time playing in the sun and everything is good in this story. Well, another time in the story the author may put small, ugly people and they go to the mountains and it is raining the whole time and they have terrible time. But deep down the story is always the same. The story is always about people. Who are they deep down? And who are you deep down? Can you find out who that person is? And how do you contact that piece of yourself? Well, this is why I said you must search. You must search deeply into the depths to find the meaning. A little piece of yourself that is like that character whom it is your function to portray. As the actor, you are no longer the person who walks into the theater. You are no longer the person who put on the costume. You are the person who stands on the stage and you must become the character for whom you are brought here to portray the one who is a piece of yourself standing on the stage and being an example of bringing to life of the character. No longer are they dead words on the page. Now we have a live actor standing in their place. But this can only happen if the actor or actress has done their homework. 
no just reading the part just learning memorizing all of the words no this is only the start only the beginning acting begins when we feel the part deep deep within our soul when we have become the character whom it is our function to portray everyone will know there is that spark the meaning the essence of the character is conveyed by the actor and then only then is it really acting there is playing around yes there is having fun on the stage yes this is important you must wear the right costume you must say the right words or the right person's part but beyond that who is it standing there is it george or sally or sven huh or it is the part whom they have become the character on the stage is an example of the author's intent on the page and that intent is always about people the story is always the same the story is about the heart the mind what is going on in the feelings of the person whom the author has chosen to portray in their story now the actor cannot know all of everything that was in the mind of the author when they wrote the words on the page but the author and the actor both have feelings they have something deep in the depths of their soul that is the same the same as those characters that represents a piece of real life in the story and every story is different but deep down every story is the same it is a story about life about the difference between one person and another and deep down it is always about who you really are